Before we do get into the video, I do want to give a shout out to the person on the screen right now for buying my Lunar Cosmetics. If you guys want to check them out, they're going to be linked in the description, and make sure to send me pictures of you using them, and I'll include you in the next video. <laughs> Right guys, welcome to another video. I'm gonna tell you how I grew on YouTube in this video. I'm gonna explain how to become a YouTube god. So I started uploading YouTube videos in about 2016 and uh, these were some pretty bad videos. They were basically just some very shitty quality Minecraft UHC highlights recorded on Hypixel on my 30 FPS computer and I used Fraps to record. Now only a few people watching this video will know what Fraps is, but it's basically a very bad recording software and um it just ruined your game completely and i recorded in 60 fps right and i wasn't even getting 60 fps so it was extremely laggy for me to record these videos so yeah i had no intentions of growing when i was making these videos i just kind of wanted to make some uat highlights like everyone else in the uat community obviously i wasn't good enough uh to play uat at that point properly because i just started PC Minecraft and as well as that I was getting like 30 FPS on my computer which is obviously not very good. I mean there's a lot of people that have like very poor FPS in Minecraft that are like still pretty insane at UHC. So yeah I basically did that for like two years on and off just for fun and I got to about like 230 subs somehow with like some of these really poor quality videos and then a little bit later i'll just upload random videos when i was playing different games like say csgo fortnite or whatever just like when i got like a haiku game or something like that you know i've always just enjoyed like sharing like good gameplays and uploading them but yeah ever since i've started doing youtube i've never really done it for the views or anything like that i've just kind of done it for myself so i can like watch the videos back in a couple of years or whatever in my opinion if you're playing games and you're getting like some very good gameplays and you have no recording of it it's like pretty disappointing because there's no way for you to look back on that but anyway after doing that for a couple of years as well i decided in 2019 that i was going to start playing uhc again because I was kind of bored of Fortnite and there wasn't really any games at the time and I kind of remembered that I got a new PC and I was like wait I can play Minecraft and get like a thousand FPS like I wanted so badly all those years ago and I started recording it because I was like this is what I wanted to do years ago just being able to record UHC highlights and like upload it uh, not only for myself but for other people to see because uh, in 2019, I was like, you know what, there's going to be a few people that probably remember watching my videos for me to upload UHC. They might see it and be like, hey, this is that guy from like all those years ago or whatever. So I started doing that and they started actually getting some pretty decent views because at the time it was when Wisp, Scotty, Speed Silver, Apaxel, Doomed Cow, all these YouTubers were getting loads of views on their videos. And I wasn't really paying attention to that. Like I didn't even really know that was going on to be honest so i was uploading these like 10 to 20 kill games almost every day because i was just like playing for fun and i was kind of really enjoying uhc at the time because it was something new it was like there was no cheaters in the game compared to what it used to be like so it was like amazing for me to join a game and it'd be filled with like low stars that i could kill so easily <laughs> and i hadn't played in years and it was all because all these like new youtubers had come in and loads of new players were on the server and it was like peak uhc it was so good and there was like new crafts like bloodlust and uh all those type of things that i didn't really know existed because the last time i played was like midway through 2018 for a little bit and then before that it was 2017 so i started doing that in like september 2019 right and then it got to like november december time and i was like you know what these videos are actually getting some decent views so we're getting like 600 views a video or whatever which was pretty impressive for me at the time because you know i went from like not caring about views to getting like a sudden almost a thousand views which was pretty like amazing because the videos were just such poor quality and then i decided like in late november early december that i was going to make some commentary videos now i was like so insecure at the time i had like proper bad anxiety and social phobia and all that type of stuff i still kind of have social phobia but nowhere near as bad but yeah at the time it was like very bad <laughs> i wasn't like self-aware whatsoever so in the videos i was talking as if 
I literally sounded like a robot. I was like, hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel UHD. Like, I literally wasn't self-aware at all. It's kind of scary because I can't imagine what I was like to other people. And somehow these videos started getting like thousands of views, like 1,000 views. And then I uploaded a few more. They got like 6,000 views. And then I uploaded one video. I can't remember which one it was. These videos were like such bad quality, by the way. They were like 1080p, obviously. But, um... Just everything about them was like pretty bad. I was saying like one word every like 10 seconds and the thumbnails were made in paint.net. I literally took a screenshot of a stone wall with a sword and didn't even like add any effects. It was crazy. If I could make content how I do now back then, I would have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I would guarantee it because UHC had so much hype at the time, right? I could literally get like a few thousand views on these videos and they weren't even that good quality. But the reason they were getting views is because the UHC search wasn't competitive at all. I didn't know I was going to get views at the time. I was obviously expecting the videos to do a little bit better, but I didn't think I was going to get like hundreds of thousands of views or anything like that. So I was pretty happy just to get a few thousand views. Like it was pretty cool that people were just like paying attention to my videos. Me knowing the like pretty awful quality. But yeah, over time I got a little bit better at everything. I got used to commentating. Um, I actually talked so much. I went from like not talking at all to talking like so much. I could literally make a 23 minute video out of one UHC. <laughs> that guy was crazy. And then I had someone called Standen or Disvi help me out with some thumbnails and that really helped out a lot. I got this one video called um, The Best Start in UHC History or something like that and I knew the title was gonna bang and the thumbnail was like so creative I literally knew it was gonna do well before I even uploaded it. Um, just like the Barbarian's chest plate on the side of the crafting table. Like it's just simple stuff like that that can make you uh, blow up on YouTube. And I didn't blow up from that video. That's just like the first video that did ridiculously well. It got like 20,000 views in two days or something. I can't remember. And it was kind of at that time that I realized that I could definitely just like leave college and just try start doing YouTube full time. Um, which is what I did because at the time I was in college and I wasn't enjoying anything. And then the fall of UHC began when everyone started doing randomizer UHC and all that type of stuff. One of the main reasons why I'm making this video right now is literally just because Wisp uploaded Hypixel UHC. I had no intentions of like copying his content content or anything like that. I may have took some inspiration from a few of his thumbnails, but that's the same thing with like every YouTuber, right? You grow from seeing what works and what doesn't. But yeah, if you guys watched Wisp at the time, it was getting like a few hundred thousand views on UHC videos. And then obviously my videos and everything was just getting recommended so easily. And that's just kind of how everyone grew at the time is just because there wasn't very many people doing Hypixel UHC. So it was very easy to find the videos on the search. It always came up at the top. And because I was like a high star as well, a lot of people wanted to watch like the, the you know, the crafts and everything that I had. And then once everyone started doing like randomizer UHC and everything, everyone slowly quit and then it was just me. And because I got into it so quickly at the time, um, I wasn't really sure how to improve the content. I was doing everything myself basically. And then obviously over time I improved my content, like the way I was talking, my thumbnails, the titles, the tags, all that type of stuff. The thing I would say is to upload something a lot of people want to watch, but not a lot of people are uploading. And that way it's pretty easy for your videos to be found.